All right, so welcome to the Insider Code uh, MetaTrader 4 tutorial. Uh, you can see here I've got uh, my MetaTrader demo account version running. Uh, that's so if I do something crazy, uh, it doesn't execute in uh, our live accounts. And so we're going to start off with uh, how to actually place an order. This is one of the most common questions that we get, uh, whether it's for our Insider Code products uh, or it's uh, just for MetaTrader in general. And, and I'd also like to take the time to say if you, if you do sign up uh, at theinsidercode.com, you are perfectly welcome to come into our one-on-one -on -one support sessions. We have them several times a month. You can come in, ask questions about the Forex, ask questions about our software. Uh, I do quite a bit of teaching in there, so I'd, I'd welcome you to come out. All right, so first of all, what you have to understand is how to place an order in general. Okay, so let's talk about orders and order types. All right, so first off, uh, you know, we've got the default layout here. And I'm just gonna go, this is the right click. Now, if you look at your mouse, um, and you know, if you can hold it up in front of you, there are two buttons on the mouse. The right button is how you get that little menu. So if you click the right button, this one will come up. And you can see right here at the top, uh, we have new order, buy limit, and sell stop. All right, so there's a limit and a stop order. So let's talk about both of those very, very quickly. And we, this really, when you get this, it, it's going to make total sense. All right, so when you're trying to place an order, let's say that's higher than where price is right now. Okay, so the euro is trading. Uh, we would say, you know, 306. So if you wanted to, let's say, sell if the euro got above this price, you could just go ahead and place the order. Because here's what your broker assumes. Okay, and let's scrunch this down a little bit. If you're trying to sell your broker wants to give you the highest sell price possible. So really this goes back to the old days when we used to have to pick up the phone and actually enter the order with our broker. And so in, in those old days there was something called uh, or better. So we would say sell at 3069 or better, which meant if the broker could actually get an even higher price, let's say 3070 or 3071, then the broker was free to do that. But built into all of the orders is the assumption that you want the best price possible. So on a sell order, that means a higher price. Now, what if you were trying to buy? Well, if you told the broker, I want to buy at 3069, what the broker would assume is he'd say, well, hey, this is a better price. It's the, the market's trading at 3002. So it's, you know, 67 pips better. All right, so you got to understand this relationship. Your broker wants to give you the best price. So on sell orders, that means a higher price. On a buy order, that means a lower price. So if you just pushed buy and you wanted to buy, the broker would give you the best price, which would be 3002. But again, if you wanted to say buy at a higher price, and there are a bunch of different reasons for that. Uh, we cover some of those in our uh, Insider Code course. Let's say you wanted to buy at 3069, you would have to enter that as a buy stop. Now here's something else for you to understand. What's very important is you understand what a stop order means and what a limit order means. A limit order means fill me at that exact price. So if you told your broker, I wanna buy at 3069, if for some reason they couldn't get you 3069, they're gonna come back and say, you know, hey, Joe, really sorry, but we couldn't get you the price. Uh, it's also called a requote. Sometimes there are legitimate reasons for it. Sometimes there are total BS reasons for it. Uh, remember, brokers are not necessarily your friends. They're certainly a, a partner in your business, but their job is to make a profit, and a lot of times that's taking making a profit at your expense. So. Uh, if you give your broker a limit order, they're going to try and fill you at that exact price. So what about a stop order? 
Well, let's say you had the same thing. You, you had a stop order set. Well, I want to buy a stop at 30.69. A stop order becomes a market order as soon as it gets hit. So when price comes up and it hits this 30.69 level, your broker is going to then interpret your order as a stop order and is going to give you whatever price the market is trading at, which sometimes that may be even higher. So you may get filled at 3072 or 3075, or if the market's really going crazy, you might get filled at uh, you know 3100, who knows? All right, so those are the basic order types, a limit order, a stop order, a little bit on how to use them both in the next segment in the series, We'll actually go through entering the order and taking a look at the order entry box.